If you look at you know, many R&D labs as well as scientific areas, at the moment it's male dominated. So just the environment itself is not the most conducive at the moment. But at IBM, we're trying to reverse that trend. I mean, uh, we're trying our best to make sure that we have different uh, internship opportunities, postdoc opportunities, and also being very aggressive in terms of our hiring, as well as you know, making sure that we have the right environment uh, to make it conducive to men scientists to succeed. So I would choose healthcare. I would think about how exponential technologies like robotics, uh, artificial intelligence, including machine learning, deep learning, how they can have impact in terms of uh, helping doctors make better decisions, more efficient decisions, so that they will be able to, in a very resource-constrained environment, be able to make better decisions and also more accurate decisions. I think the frontiers of technology that we have now have a big role to play and I would really immerse myself in you know, bringing that to bear. There's a lot of challenges. I mean, if you look at uh, R&D, for example, there isn't that much research and development that's happening. So we have to make the right investments. For example, in terms of GDP, uh, if you look at the US, I mean, they spend about 3% of GDP on research and development. South Africa, maybe 0.6, 0.8% of GDP. But if you look at the rest of the continent, there isn't much investment. It's almost 0%, right? So we do need more investment. We do need to be able to attract scientists. And also we need to revamp our educational system so that we really produce some of the best minds, continuously produce the best minds on the continent. I mean, wherever there are challenges, there's a lot of opportunities. You can look at healthcare, you can look at agriculture, education. All of these areas are poised to be transformed by technology, by STEM. So we have to, again, I mean, work on skill development so that we have, you know, the talent to come in and transform these areas. Well, NEF is a great platform in terms of, you know, gathering the best minds and the best scientists, African scientists, from across the world. So it's a natural place for IBM research to engage and also create new programs. For example, today we're kicking off a new program, the IBM NEF uh, Visiting Scientist Program, where the NEF fellows will have an opportunity to go to any one of our labs. So it's a great platform for attracting talent. Thank you very much.